hello good day everyone welcome to my channel this is john chukwemeka angle of cash flow today uh so many people have asked me how could they credit their account on binance and uh, other set of persons are asking how could they withdraw their money from binance you have already made some money in Binance. How would you withdraw it? Or you are a new person, you're a newbie, you just registered your account on Binance, but you don't know how to credit it and start trading and start making money on Binance. So the opportunity is once more before you today. So please, before we start, if you are a new person and you have not subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe to our channel because we bring you opportunities online opportunities on how to make money on crypto and other online opportunities genuine and legit opportunities that you make money that are withdrawable not the money that you make and it will stick on the platform and can never be withdrawn we're talking about the money that you can make and be able to withdraw them so if you have not subscribe to our channel please do subscribe to our channel click the notification bell to be not to be to be the first to notify to be notified whenever we do a new video and if at the end of this video this video is very useful to you and it really met your request please do give us a thumb up to encourage us in doing this video please do not skip any part of this video because it's going to be very very detailed it's going to be very detailed do not skip any part of this video follow it step by step to be able to actualize it because this is going to stay teach you step by step method on how you can credit your account and how you can withdraw your account and as well how to avoid scammers on binance because there are so many of them on binance currently doing their business so the app we're talking about is this and if you have not registered to our um, to if you have not registered to Binance, you have an opportunity of getting forty percent back of your money when you register. And there is a description, there is a link in our description. Follow that link to register in order to get your bonus. Thank you as we move ahead. Now we open our Binance, assuming that you have used the link we have in our description to open your Binance account and you have done your KYC as stated as we gave you the practical steps on how to open your Binance account. So assuming that you have already actualized that and um, you have already gotten your account already. So this is um, my uh, one of my accounts on Binance. So now if you open the account and you are on pro version in your mobile app you certainly see this interface this is the beginning this is the home page of binance so we go straight to what we want to do today if you really want to trade this is the home page if you want to trade this is the place to trade this um trade if you are trading on spot this is trade but for today what we want to do we go to this wallet we go to this place that I'm circling now. This wallet, that's the place we go. We open the wallet. Then you see this up right hand side that is written P2P. That is what we want to do today. We open P2P. And as we get to P2P, then we move straight to P2P trading. We move straight to P2P trading and we open P2P trading because that is where we are heading to there are two 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 areas in if you check this this place that i'm circling now if you go to that place you will see you see p2p and you see express the two are good to be used but i if you know how to if you are very scared of scammers you can use express express you just you just buy expressly you uh, you will not start going to choose who you are going to buy from but for now i want to teach you how to use p2p i want to use 
teach you how to use P2P. So we want to buy smaller amounts. Let's see who sells smaller amounts. Uh, we scroll up and see who can sell uh, something like maybe uh, 2,000 or 3,000 Naira worth of uh, USDT because where we are now is on USDT. And whoever that we, okay, like this man, this man is willing to sell between 1,000 and uh, that. But his trade is uh, 70, he has 80, he has 76 percent uh, rating and 13 trade so there is problem with him whoever that we are going to transact with must have above 90 uh, he must have above 90 like this man this man now uh, this max max hill this place i'm circling he has 95 percent and he has made a trade of 2000 something so he's good to go so we click on buy we click on buy we click on buy and we say we want to buy a uh, cryptocurrency worth of uh, 2000 his minimum is 1000 so we say we want to buy cryptocurrency worth of 2000 naira and we're going to get four usdt so we click on buy so as we click on buy the next thing we do is we click on this we check if he has a condition which he doesn't have any condition he stated here so we click on transfer font we click on transfer font we click on transfer font then we click again on transferred next so that is um, that we collect uh, if you have uh, something that you can use to write you can write that is um, account number as i'm writing out his account number uh, and uh, probably his name to confirm that uh, when i get to my mobile uh, my mobile um, banking app that he is the one that i am paying to so then I move straight to my banking app and make payment. So as you can see, I've gone to my mobile app, bank mobile app, and I'm making payment to this person, waiting for the payment to go through. So I'm making payment to him now. And once the payment goes through, what I will do is to go back to the platform and probably upload the payment um, because as I'm making the payment, I am doing screenshot. I do screenshot as I make the payment. So immediately the payment is done. Uh -huh, just like this now, the payment is done. So I make a screenshot of the payment which I've met. So I go back to the platform. I go back to the platform to inform him that I have already made the payment in order for him to release the coin. So this is that. If you check this place, this place you see a message center place for up there. A message center place you click on that message center place and this place will open then you use this use this plus that you are seeing here use this plus you click on that plus and you see photo you click on the photo you click on the photo and you use uh, your gallery you use your gallery probably to upload what we are trying to do now is to upload the payments we to upload the payment we just made please if you have made other payments please ensure that the one you are sending to that young man is the actual one that belongs to him because if you mistakenly send another person's own to him uh, it might not go down well so it's better you play safe and ensure that whatever you are sending to the person okay like you can see he has already approved me he didn't even wait for me to 
uh, starts troubling him and all that or that. So he has already approved that for USD for me. So now uh, I I have to say done. So I can now go back. I give him a thumb up. I give him a thumb up. He's a good guy. I give him a thumb up. He's a good guy. So I go back. I click on this place up here. Then I go back. Um, yes. So as I go back, I click here again. That this place again. To go back, I go back completely. So I go back again. I go back again. So this place now is my P2P wallet. So on my P2P wallet that you can see, I have, um, I paid 2000 Naira. 2000 naira but what i'm having now is 1852 uh naira that is how it is whenever your money comes into this platform it tends to reduce i don't know the reason but the, what i know is that that is how it has always been so this money i have to take it i have to transfer it into my spot wallet to be able to trade i have to transfer it into my spot wallet this way that i'm clicking now i click on transfer I say yes, whatever they are. You read that place. If it's okay with you, you say yes. So now I am transferring. If you check this place, I'm transferring from P2P wallet to Spot wallet. And what I'm transferring is USDT. It is not BTC. So I click on this place, on that BTC arrow, and I change it to USDT. It comes back. Say so I say the maximum. I click on this maximum so that it will select the maximum i say transfer so once i say transfer it means i go back to my spot wallet to this place i go back to this place i click on it to that place the road trades i go back to it then if you check this place you see that the four usdt has appeared here the four usdt has has appeared in this place i have the four usdt in that place so what do i need to do now what i need to do is i am i want to sell it back now so i go back to this place to this wallet i click on that wallet i click on p2p trading uh, 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 okay sorry 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 it's not that I first of all go to transfer. I go to transfer. I go to transfer. Now I am transferring from. Uh, I click on this place. I say I'm transferring from spot. Um, transferring from spot. Transferring from spot. Um, uh, sorry. I'm transferring from Spot Wallet. I go back. If I click on this. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Sorry about that. Uh, when I want to transfer from uh, Spot Wallet, I go back to Spot Wallet. If I want to transfer from from spot wallet it means um, to transfer from spot wallet into Okay, I think the least I can sell should be like, is it like hundred dollars or so? So this is this is how to buy. 
this is how to buy actually so i will show you how how to sell okay guys when you are on this transfer platform there's something you need to do in order to swing this p2p uh from p2p to spot wallet but what you need here is from spot wallet to p2p so you go to this place you see this place you click on this place please click on this place once you click on that place this thing will swing around then your usdt if btc was here you click on this place and it will change change it to btc change it to usdt then you click on maximum you click on maximum then you click on transfer you have successfully transferred your asset to your p2p start trading so we say trading we go to p2p trading so as we go to p2p trading now what do we want to do now we want to sell now we want to sell so we click on this place that said sell we click on sell and what do we want to sell we want to sell usdt please you see all these ones with high high number and digit eh? please avoid them or uh, that's my personal opinion avoid them then you come down you come down all these ones are selling to your p uh, to your binance wallet you come down you see people that are willing to send to your bank account and if they have above 99 you can deal with them like this this person okay this first person uh is ready to deal but the amount is dealing you see somebody that can deal up to two thousand let's see if we can get somebody that can deal uh, that can buy uh two thousand worth of crypto what we are seeing here is 10,000, 10,000, and that's the list I've seen so far. As the list I've seen. Uh, okay, this person is willing, I've seen somebody, is willing to buy from 1,000. So you can sell to this man. You can sell to this man. What do we do? We click on sell. We click on sell, and we say, uh, we want to sell by this we sell all so if we say sell all we click on this please make sure you read his um uh he has uh, his own um he has his terms and condition please make sure you read his terms and condition uh, to be able to transfer placing order fast and reliable you don't need to call wait 15 minutes if you don't click paid believe you read my terms before clicking sell because it's there uh, terms and condition uh, i will charge 100 naira transfer fee i don't pay decimal I don't cancel an order click sell means you agree to thank you for so you see this man has his own terms and condition uh, to sell to sell to you is going to cut hundred naira from your money to sell to you is going to cut hundred naira from this fucking money well it's all right let's see how it goes so this we are waiting for him to to make payment we're making for him to make payment immediately he makes payment then it will not be our turn to release the coin to him so the first one counted and finished i have to open another one uh, but this guy has made payment i chatted him on this place I chatted him up and we discussed and he has already made payment so what do i do i go back i go back to this place because he has already made payment the the platform will be showing 
I go back uh, just one step. Okay, now it is either showing for me to appeal, maybe that the payment did not come, or to confirm that the payment has come through. And once I confirm that the payment has come through, this four dollar and uh, a fraction will be released to this particular person. But just like I said, I've gone to my bank app and I've confirmed that this payment has entered my bank account. It has entered my bank account. So I click on confirm. I click on confirm. So they said, uh, they are, what, the reason why they said this, uh, please, okay, confirm payment received and blah, 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 is because they want to be sure that you have confirmed your payment before you tick this, before you tick before you tick that, before you tick this place, be sure that you have confirmed that the payment has entered their bank. Let it not be because somebody is persuading you. So I click on that and I click on this final place, which is confirmed. I click on this confirm. And once I've done that, uh, they will ask me, they will send a code to my number for me to verify in order to be sure that I am the one carrying out this transaction. In order to be sure that I am the one carrying out this transaction. So a code sent to my mobile app, I verify. I use it to verify that this is really me that is doing this transaction as you can see uh, a coin what this amount has been released to whosoever that bought that and i still give him a thumb up he was he was a good guy he really did a good job he released it without um, he made payment without giving me much stress so my people this is exactly how to credit your Binance account to P2P and that is at the same time how to withdraw your money if you have if you have made a money if you have made any amount in the platform and you want to resell you want to sell back to whoever you want to sell back this is exactly how to do it please if you have not subscribed to our channel like I said earlier please do subscribe to our channel because we'll be bringing you uh, how to make money online basically we'll be bringing you things that concern uh, cryptocurrency and other means of making legit money online so if you have not subscribed subscribe click the notification bell and give us a thumb up if this video was really helpful to you thank you very much have a lovely day